What is up, YouTube? This is Michael with Keep Dry Not, bringing you a really late Eat Drizzle deck profile. Not Drizzle. Something. Yo, Drizzle! Uh, you start with Regalia of Prayer. Is this like Regalia of Prayer's Prey Angel? Yes. Um, this is the starting bigger. The only, the only other one I'd recommend using would probably be Vivid Robin, so you can search Angelica, hopefully. Because the deck misses Break Ride, it kind of falls apart a bit. You don't have no way to gain advantage. Which hurts. Um, for those of you who don't know, this effect is put this in your soul. If your banner is in Legion, you may give it 5,000 power and soul charge 3. Um, this effect allows you to get Perfect. soul for your Joseph effect, Angelica, after you've already used Angelica, or occasionally hit units that you can soul blast for effects. It's a. It's a big t shirt that is a rapid meteor and all time guild symbols. This is where champions are made. Um, for heal trigger, hold on. <laughs> um, the Regalia ones because you need to put them back in full occasionally. Not to say about them, use four Regalia heal triggers. Love the art. What the hell was that? My stand trigger is looking away. <laughs> My stand trigger is standing away. You know what I am. Uh, four Galia Critical Triggers, and four of the Critical Trigger that put the soul give 3,000 to a Genesis unit. Um, once again, with Legion attacking for a high number, it's going to be 23. Putting one of this in soul, it makes it a nice 26k column, uh, and the boosters just are sweet. Um, huh? I see it. This is everything. Yeah. Not much to say about it. Four of each. Four Galia. Four of a good creature. Then we play one of the units that actually makes the deck a good deck. This broken bitch right here. Mirror Regalia Achilles. Um, a lot of people play like two. I prefer like four. Uh, I play like four. <laughs> like four. Because <laughs> you won't always have Norns, so you want to try to have four and four Norn just to be able to constantly have the ability you to want soul lots, lots of power. power. I want to make sure they can't guard you juggle, especially around four damage, because even without a crit, it's game ending. Three damage with a crit, it's... Game ending. <laughs> Game ending. Um, it allows us to hit higher. Nothing much to say about them, really. Dantrigers. I hate them. I hate Dantrigers, but it's too good an ability to pass up. Three perfect shields. One Quintel Wall. So you play four Sentinels, no matter what. Uh, the one Quintel Wall is in there to fill up my job for Legion. Certain cards I want to put back in the soul, which I'll explain later. And the Garden Attack. It's a Garden <laughs> Attack. <laughs> not much counterbossing goes on in this deck, so you're not really getting hurt on counterboss. And three regular pro shields, so I can actually legitimately stop an attack that's too high for these to guard. Then, the reason I was talking about the Quintel Wall is a fill up a drop zone for these cards. They are, when they are played, choose three up to three regalias in your drop zone and put them back in the soul. Um, this can put your stand triggers or norms. Nothing really else of importance. I guess you're missing a soul. You put one in there, which is why you play Regalia Triggers all the time. Also, the pet wall is also Regalia. Keep in mind, if you're going to play one, play it as the Regalia one, in case you need to put in soul for this. Good card, great two version of it. Amazing too. Then four, Purification Regalia, pure, you know. Purification Regalia, pure. They did call it <laughs> prayers. Praying. Praying. What the fuck? Anyway. <laughs> Chaos 1. When this unit is placed on rear guard, choose your vanguard of Regalia in its name and give it the effect. Your shield is never been very good at name. You can give 5,000 power to it, and when it hits, you can soul blast 3 and draw an additional card. Uh, once again, try to give this deck some sort of advantage at the cost of 3 soul. And it's one of the only units in your deck that actually uses that counter boss. Solid effect. Once again, help you guys make sure they cannot guard her. If they're at. Four damage, and you need the attack to hit. Give all the power. Speaking of power, yeah. where now? Speaking of power, <laughs> speaking of broken, this unit is choose a grade three regalia in your drop zone and put it at the bottom of your deck. Choose one of your regalias. It can be a rear guard, mind you. Regalia grade three. Grade three. Is the chooser regalia grade three? Wow, you're supposed to be the king. Uh, choose your regalia grade three. I thought it was great that you usually choose your dreadful on that Yeah, I know. Um, it allows you Drezzle to hit, once again, high numbers that they four. cannot guard. <laughs> or make good rear guard columns. I've done it like once. 
<laughs> Do it. All of them are going to be like, I'll trade that. I'll trade that. I just want to see one in real life. For midday regalia herma. Watch. No, I was talking to Herbert. For midday regalia herma. Uh, same ability as the grade one when it's played. You can put up to three regalias from your drop zone into your soul. Um, 9k, not an 8k, if it's an 8k, it's playable. Nyx is Legion Mate, for those of you that will play Nyx. I do not. Um, not much to say about it, solid card, helps you have soul. Three, Regalia Fertility, Freya. Counterboss 1, when your Vanguard performs Legion, it just says when your Vanguard is Legion. I hate that wording. What? How it's worded in English. When your Vanguard is Legion. Oh, when you read our Legion? Yes, yeah, it's when it performs yeah. Legion. For those of you that don't know, it should be known. It's supposed just to be what it, they probably did just to save space on the range, save room space. Oh, there. It's supposed to be when your Vanguard performs Legion. You may pay the cost. If you do Soul Charge 3 and this unit itself gains 5k, uh, a 16 column turns to 21. Uh, give your rear guard columns power, so you don't have to manage a guard, you juzzle, it makes it harder for the rear guards to be guarded. And she's sexy bitch. And it helps you gain soul wounds again for your juzzle. So, we have four more grade twos, but I'm gonna wait to do them when I actually do your drizzle. For Regalia of Wisdom Angelica, she is a break ride out of the trial deck, success for the Sacred Regalia. She also comes SP. Please, I'm your SP Angelica. Um, when it's break, when you break ride over this unit, you soul lost three. If you do draw two, and that unit, the new unit gains ten thousand. This is now an advantage engine. What I like to do is keep break riding this until my deck is nothing but critical turns. He's done his most points, not fucking fun. Then you Legion again, returning four purple turns. That's <clears throat> allowing you to just eat Juzzle. This man sacks heavily enough as it is. Now he forces himself to sack. How do you not deck out? That's the thing. There's like five cards up in the deck. They're all crits. Um, <laughs> not much to say about her. When she attacks, when she turns one, give it 1,000. It's not any man ability. You have to. Um, <laughs> helps you Juzzle hit a bit higher. Yes. <laughs> I think one Minerva. Minerva. Uh, this card is back from set 14. For those of you who don't know, it's Kalos 1, Soul Boss 3, and choose 3 Genesis units from your hand and discard them. At the close of the battle, this unit, this unit attacked a. Uh, nope, attacked. this unit attacked. You may the cost. If you do, restand this unit and it gains 5k. Another interesting fact is that it can be used with New Regalia support to give itself power when it restands, and it also does not have to not hit nor hit, making it a real good restander. Allowing it to have power, it also gets power plus 1000 when it stands. Also, if this is in the soul, it is now a cross ride base, which is 13, which is nice. Not much to say about it. <clears throat> then I play three Cosmic Call of CEO you Dressels, and four Nord. Because it doesn't have a fourth counter, so. Not actually like three more. Really? It gives me Nord next one. Alright, fair enough. Um, for those of you that don't know what CEO you Dressel does, I'll get to that in a second. Regalia of Fate Norman. When it is soul blasted, you give 5,000 power to the banker. Now, it, it's, simply, it's a really good Woo. ability. It helps with your Drizzles gain power. For those of you who don't know, God Drizzle is a Legion. Three, three. You don't, like, Legion's the new mechanic. Legion leader. I hate that term. Um, I like Legion. Legion 20,000, Regalia of Fate Norman. I just call it the Legion. Soul Boss 6, when this unit attacks with Vanguard, this unit is Legion. We pay the cost. If you do, until end of this battle, this unit gains critical plus one, and your opponent cannot cover one or higher as the Guardian Circle. Um, it also gains plus three when it attacks the Vanguard. You want to try to get this as high as possible on Break Ride turn. The numbers get really high sometimes. The highest it's gotten against us is about 147,000. Um, I would say it's. The numbers get really high sometimes. Ding! <laughs> I'm going to say on the card, it's a solid card. It can still hold its own against the Legion decks that are coming out in set 16. Um, if you like Genesis, if you liked uh, Minerva as a deck, probably look into changing over to this with maybe like one Minerva. Not much to say about it. Um, it came out. I can just look. Do that too. That's really it for the deck file. Brandon, what are you doing? Oh, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.